It's so delightful. It smells super high quality. Honey is okay, Chris. <laughs> this is this is good. It is a really, really pretty scent. I can see why this one is getting all of the compliments. Oh, this is very sexy. This fragrance is called The Boss by Christopher Lee Fragrances, but I had to reach out to them on Instagram and tell them, your fragrance is bomb. Like, that's good. I'm a money man. Draped in designer. I stay high fashion. Kiss you bougie. No, I'm high maintenance. What's up with it, y'all? It's Big Bows coming back with another Before You Buy of this fragrance right here, okay? We are talking about Vintage Radio by La Taffa. It's an Eau de Parfum, 100ml. How do I like it? Okay, well, first of all, I've been wearing it for about a month now, okay? I was taking a long time wearing it on a simple fact that I make sure I want to get all my thoughts together. I've been really liking a lot of the newer fragrances that have been coming out, so I kind of thought I was going to like this fragrance. People told me that it was a clone of Anisio's Paragon. All right, this is a woody and fruity fragrance, but that's the main accords that it says on Fragranica. I honestly think that this fragrance is more nutty than anything. But is a nutty fragrance like a woody fragrance? Yeah, I don't know. You can find it for about like $50. I wouldn't pay more than $50 for this, but I will break down this review into four parts. The smell, the performance, the occasion, and the final verdict. Let's get into how it smells. First of all, they say it's a cologne of Anisio's Paragon, but I think that it smells more closer to Burberry London. Okay, if you smell Burberry London, you know I did not like that fragrance. Nope, because it smelled like a watery nut. Okay, I don't like watery fresh nuts. I don't want to smell like that. I never did want to smell like that. And uh, I want to meet the person that think that smell good, because what type of person are you? Okay, that you want to smell like nuts, all right? Peanuts at that. But um, yeah, man, this fragrance was like freshy, nutty, type thing man it smelled like a vintage radio like real wet wood don't really like scents like this they say it got lavender sage and bergamot in the top notes the middle notes has plum palo santos black pepper and um the base notes has sandalwood and oud i don't smell the oud i can smell the sandalwood i can smell the uh, palo santo i do not smell the plum i don't smell the black pepper I don't really smell the bergamot, the sage, or the lavender. It's just really like a woody fragrance. Now, if they had said they put nutmeg, palisanto, and watery notes, and sandalwood in this fragrance, then I'll believe it, okay? It just smells like tree bark, like nutty tree bark. That's what this fragrance smells like, facts. Yeah, it, just, it smells like just a lumberjack. I can't explain it, but it's, I just, I don't know, man. I just don't like it all like that, okay? I don't want y'all getting mad at me, man. I don't really like it all like that. Let's get into the longevity. All right, y'all know Latafa fragrances are synonymous for not really lasting that long. This, you know, don't last that long either, okay? You get you about like five to six hours with this fragrance, which is decent. It's okay. It's moderate for a fragrance that's not over $50 it is. When it comes to projection, I sprayed it on my girl and it just wasn't projecting, okay? This was never a fragrance that she said smelled good. She said, I would never wear that. I don't really want you wearing that. And I was just like, yeah, probably not. It's just not something that somebody like me want to wear. See, I like fly fragrances. Like, it got to hit me straight out the gate. Yeah, it ain't really do it. Nope, not a game changer. So I might not like the original. And if you guys like the original, and uh, y'all mad at me? Yeah. Hey, blame Latafa, bro. I don't like it. This, th the clone version of this is so lackluster. I don't even care to smell the original. Okay. Let's get into the occasion. Okay, I can see myself if I was to wear this 
I can see myself wearing this around the house, running errands. If anything, this is more like a winter fall fragrance. Pulling it off in the spring and the summer when it's more hot outside kind of don't make sense. It just gave me like a cooler weather vibe, like sweater. The age range, I would say, with this fragrance is real mature. I can't really see no young man wearing this fragrance. I can see somebody's daddy wearing this fragrance, but not a young man. A guy that's real down to earth, real laid back, real mellow. He chill. He a little quirky, but that's just his style. He different. He original. That's how I think guys that wear this fragrance are. Okay, let's get into the final verdict. All right, if you've seen the short that I made about this fragrance, I rated it a five out of 10. Something that I don't really see myself wearing. If y'all wanna know my opinion, I wouldn't pick this up. Latafa, man, y'all do y'all thing. Y'all do y'all thing. And, and, and I like that y'all got some fragrances that I like and some fragrances I don't like. And this is a fragrance I don't like. And I gave it a good wearing. Like if this bottle was see-through or something, it gotta be to like right here. Like I wore it a lot. Like I gave it a chance. I put it through its paces and it didn't depress me. And I don't like it. And I don't plan on wearing it. It's going to stay on the shelf. Don't go in the comments asking me to buy it because I will not be selling it. All right. I'm just going to keep it in the archives forever in case you guys want to do like a versus or something like that. But let me know in the comments if you smell this fragrance. Vintage Radio. Let me know if you like it. I also hate the bottle design. Like. This is so ugly to me, in my opinion, okay? All right, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. You know I love y'all guys so much. I'm Big Boss, and I'm out.